Now that we've got the air out of the compressor, it's time to cool it. The air coming out of the compressor side of the turbo is really hot. Too hot to touch with your bare hands. It must be cool before it enters the intake manifold. The air, the air is cooled by the air charge cooler. This is sometimes referred to as a intercooler in some applications. It is between the, the discharge side of the turbo, as you can see here in the bottom right, where the air comes out if it's compressed quite hot, goes into one side of the cooler and out the other. As you can see in the drawing in the upper left, it goes over to the other side of the engine where it goes into the intake manifold. Here's our cooler showing with some color coding for heat. We take our intake air coming in, we compress it, which by compressing it, we increase its heat. And then we cool it back off to the intercooler or air charge cooler and then put it back in the manifold on the other side for the intake. This is what it looks like thermally if you look at the two pictures with the intake being on the right and the exhaust being on the left for the cooler. The biggest problem we have with coolers is they can develop leaks. It's, a, it's located in front of the radiator. It's an air-to-air -air cooler designed to lower the temperature of the air coming out of the turbocharger before entering the intake manifold. Here's a, one of the hoses taking air in and out. And uh, here's a very important thing. This is a leak check. The one thing you must do with this system is to make sure it's not leaking because we will have low boost if we develop a leak. This is the other half of continuation, if you want to, of checking for turbocharger output when it's not as high as it should be and we think we have a problem. This is a possible problem.